Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amore Love and today we are going to be redoing our headphones. I'm not sure if you know, but you definitely don't have to buy brand new Beats headphones just because your earmuffs are messed up. Now, these still work incredibly fine. However, I wear these every night just because I just like the surround sound when I'm watching movies. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to replace these without having to buy new Beats headphones. As you can see, my Beats headphones are really worn off. I've had these for several years now. I think since this design um, came out within the same year. So that's how long I've had it. <laughs> And I wear them every night so this is makeup and just a hot mess of an earbud so we're gonna take these off and I'm gonna show you how because there are a ton of mistakes that you can make while doing this so I just want to make sure you guys are doing this correctly if you decide to replace your buds I ordered this product from Amazon this is called wicked cushions and it was very affordable and it came super fast so that's what I love and when you order them you need to make sure that you're getting the correct ones for your headphones because I made the mistake of just typing in Beats by Dre and then all of a sudden I got the bigger ones which I will show you a side by side comparison in just a second. So here's the other ones and as you can see there is a big difference. These are the Beats Solo and these are the original Beats. So make sure you're ordering the correct one when you do buy them because I made the mistake of getting these ones first <laughs> and then I got these. But luckily it only takes two days if you have Amazon Prime so that is absolutely amazing. In your package from Wicked Cushions you are going to receive, uh oh, they didn't give it to me in this. It's supposed to, oh yes they did. <laughs> alcohol pads because we're going to be needing these later and then it does come with some special warnings that you do need to know of because you have to put these on the correct way there is a wrong way to do this so you really want to make sure you follow manufacturers directions just like they say to do before we get to our cushions and we're going to begin removing all of this old padding off by the way just a butt in mid video I am so sorry I just wanted to say that you do not have to do this first you do not have to do this first I'm just really weird and to me I just thought it would be really really satisfying because I've been staring at these cushions for so long and it's just been eating me away to not pick at them so now that I can trash them it's been just I don't know I've just been wanting <laughs> to peel this off but you don't have to peel this off this is not the first step you do not have to do this do not do this unless you just are like me but back to the video sorry for interrupting mid video let's get back into it shall we so first we're just going to peel it back Okay, so we have removed the padding and we're gonna toss those in the trash. So now that that's out of my way, you technically don't need to do that, but I just felt like it because it looked satisfying. But I'm going to softly maneuver this out with a not sharp butter knife. And I'm just gonna slightly, slowly wedge it out. Okay, so once it's able to remove, you really want to make sure you take off all of this adhesive. This is really important because if you don't remove all the adhesive, you won't be able to have the longevity of the adhesive that you will be applying next. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is sticky. So just keep that in mind. Do not place the other ones on it yet. We're gonna remove the other one. Like I said, you do not have to take off the cushions. I just wanted to do it because it was satisfying. <laughs> But, yeah. All of the padding and the base of the plastic has been removed. So now we're going to move on to the next step, which is cleaning the surface so that we have 
a perfect base for the new pads to sit on. So it comes with two alcohol pads. I'm going to use one per ear. Okay, and then just really make sure you're getting everything off. Now that everything is just about off, now we're going to do the new ones. And there's a really important thing to know. There's a top and there's a bottom. And there's a left and there's a right. You have to make sure you put them on correctly. Now, an easier way to tell for one side is that this has a groove for the USB. So what you're gonna do is put that like this one see how that fits perfectly there on the other side the way you can tell it's the bottom is by looking at the seam making sure the seam is facing downward so look for the groove on this one and look for the seam they both seem facing down that's how you know you will have it on the right ear to put these on I'm gonna start with the left and I'm just going to peel this back and then we're going to place it. You see how there's this and this. We're going to put those holes perfectly into each other. And it's just that easy. Literally so easy. Make sure all the holes are inside of the holes so that the adhesive goes perfectly. But look at that guys, one side already done. It looks like I have a brand new pair of headphones. Awesome, right? So now let's do the other side. We're gonna take the adhesive backing off and then find the groove to match with this groove and make sure that these spikes are lined up with each other because if you place it down, it won't be sticking in that area. And over time that will cause lifting and you'll have to replace them sooner so just make sure it's in the actual holes so now that they're in the holes I'm just going to give a light press and just like that we are all done and no one will ever know. Perfect, right? So like I said, I got these from Amazon. I will leave them linked in the description for you guys. These pads were less than 20 bucks. So that's a whole lot better than $300. So 16 bucks uh, uh, or $300. So. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you for making it this far. And if you have any more questions, leave comments down below and subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.